In this problem, two basins of the same size, shape, and slope are being analyzed using the rational method. The first basin is heavily wooded and the second is heavily urbanized. Assume all runoff from each basin runs to the same point in each basin, with no stormwater control structures added to either basin. Which of the following statements is true? The first basin will have a lower runoff coefficient and a lower time of concentration than the second basin. The first basin will have a lower runoff coefficient and a higher time of concentration than the second basin. The first basin will have a higher runoff coefficient and a lower time of concentration than the second basin. The first basin will have a higher runoff coefficient and a higher time of concentration than the second basin. So essentially, we've got two drainage areas, one heavily wooded, and these are all the pretty trees inside of it. Second one is heavily urbanized, and here are all the buildings on it. And they've noted in the problem that pretty much everything else is the same. So they load to the same points at the end and there's no like additional engineering structures to control the stormwater. So this is a question pretty much just about the rational method itself. Um, so page 406, that got cut off or PDF page 418 will give you the rational method if you want to look at it. It's pretty much just going to show you that volume equals I times area times C times T, which is going to be I is the intensity of rainfall C is the rational method runoff coefficient, which is called out in the problem. A is the drainage area, and then T is gonna be the time, or in this case, the time of concentration. So area is not gonna change between these two, and the average rainfall intensity is a non-factor for the problem. So really, this is just a question about the two other parameters here. So. If you want, you can also look at page 377 for a table of runoff coefficients. This would actually be helpful since the question is asking about whether or not each basin will have a lower or higher runoff coefficient. But the point of the problem is pretty much just to determine whether or not you understand runoff coefficients and times of concentration as they apply to the real world. So since the first basin is heavily wooded, let's start by going to that table of runoff coefficients. And if we look for unimproved areas, we can see that the runoff coefficient is between 0.1 and 0.3. And then all of the urbanized areas seem to have a runoff coefficient value that's higher than that. A heavily wooded area would be an example of an unimproved area. So that's sort of something you have to know, but you could also infer it from the other more nature-centric runoff coefficients at the table. So this is going to show us that the runoff coefficient for a for the first basin is going to be lower. So that's immediately going to give us either this one or this one. And now we have to ask about the time of concentration. So the time of concentration is going to be based on the speed at which it takes all of the flow in the drainage area, the flow from the farthest point to start contributing to the flow at the outlet where it's being measured. So in a heavily wooded area, the water is going to move a lot slower through it 
than in a heavily urbanized area where the water is going to run off, not infiltrate at all, and generally move at a higher velocity with way less lag time. So this problem is as straightforward as that, where we can see that the first basin is going to have a lower runoff coefficient and a higher time of concentration than would an identical second basin that is much more urbanized. So that's really all it takes to solve this problem.